the, the Adler Museum is a medical museum that's actually housing the history of medicine. It's a physical space uh, that comes to life uh, in terms of education, in terms of creativity, in terms of dialogue, discussion, debate. The Adler Museum is an unparalleled and unique repository of manuscript, exhibition, photographic, book, as well as uh, lived research materials, honestly unique on the African continent. You not only are getting artifacts that are representational of Western medicine, something that would have been available in an apothecary, you're getting important artifacts that are also valuable within African traditional medicine. We have more than 40,000 artifacts. Each object that's curated within the museum uh, has a story to tell, there's a narrative behind it. What stands out for me, for an example, is the, 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 the kidney dialysis machine. Now, that, that is the only one in Africa, and, and even the shoe fluoroscope machine and, and the sterilizer that we have in the museum. And, and those, are, those are the very unique tools that that's, you might not be able to find them in, in, in the world. We've got uh, medical equipment that extends into, I think, well into the 17th century. So there's these little pieces of equipment um, is, that uh, has a lot of scientific value in terms of not only uh, the history of the discipline, but South Africa in general. The Atlas is unique not only because of what it contains, its collections and its books and its manuscripts, its artworks and its biographical data, but also because of the city that it grew out of. Its collections speak very, very particularly to urban conurbations on the African continent and urban health. The Transvaal uh, Memorial Institute is actually been closed now and then some of, of the materials are with us. Now the students actually they make use of, of, of those kind of materials with, when they come with research topics. I'm basically mapping the spatial distribution of childhood diseases in early Johannesburg. Coming from a background in archaeology, um, I didn't initially know a lot about the archives at the Adler Museum and we came across the Adler Museum and found these records that were very well kept um, and fairly complete. So it's providing a very interesting background to something that I feel really hasn't been explored properly. The next steps for the Adler is, is we want to develop the, the, the online material. And with the pandemic, it's become more, and more obvious that we, we're going into a virtual platform. Uh, don't get me wrong, I think the physical space is equally important. But we need to change and adapt um, as society changes and adapts. The, the virtual platform in itself allows somebody to actually investigate the physical space uh, via an avatar, for example. Uh, you could utilize that, so you could actually have a look at the space and the exhibition without physically being there the objects, the books, the references, the information um, that could be dispersed um, uh, you know, to countries abroad. It, it, you, know, you don't have to physically be here. The physical space is still going to be here for the students, for the public in general to come and make use of this, of this place. But our main focus is to look at the collection and look at the space. We want to change the space. The space cannot just look like a traditional museum. So our plan now is to have like a knowledge hub that's going to be inside the museum where the students that are doing different researchers from different disciplines, they are going to engage. So I, I do kind of envision this to be a, a multidisciplinary hub uh, where your interest does not necessarily have to be fixed on uh, the health sciences or medicine for that matter. This is a resource that is important, cross-disciplinary, whether you're in humanities or medicine or science, it's something that should be used by all students. It's, it's, it's good for the students to, to know what, what's in the Adler, to know what's in our collection, so that they can actually apply in their mind in order to come up with critical issues that the society is facing these days. The Adler might be having some solutions of the problems that we're encountering every day in our daily lives. So we're really making a huge pitch with this medical humanities digitization to call on the WITS community to see this as a rich, rich resource for research going forward across the university.